Hello and welcome back to your opening of Alice for the Great Can. So, I was told that Naj would accept vassalization, but I suspect I might have got to this a little too late because uh, it looks like our diplomatic reputation is causing them to say no right now. Now, I suspect that is because um, we lost our diplomatic reputation advisor and at the same time we also have one of these negatives is, yes, diplomatic reputation negative 5. So with and annex subjects, so if we get rid of those, I think that we can almost get Naj to be our vassal. On the positive side, Kiva will stay being our vassal, so we'll get them in about uh, 83 prestige. So last time we were moving all of our troops around so we can get better army. I think what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate regiments whenever a cavalry regiment gets weaker. Just for a little bit and we're going to try and... Uh, Yes, get more infantry when we can. Just to make the numbers a little bit more even. They seem to be better, but they're not perfect. Oh. What? This is the best reload ever. Ottomans no longer consider Golden Horde arrival. Russia no longer considers Golden Horde arrival. Does that mean the Ottomans are friendly? Not quite. Uh, we'll start improving relations with them though. Um, do we want to improve relations with Russia? I mean, we might as well. If we can make them friendly to us, they're probably not going to attack us, and when we can attack them whenever. So who did they select instead? Ottoman selected Spain, and Russia selected Poland. Okay. Interesting. Maybe they just think they can beat those people more easily? Okay, let's let time move on and see if we can get some more events happening. Uh, advisor died. Which one is it? Uh, wasn't one of the important ones and that's all that matters. Uh, did we get another Inquisitor? Nope. That's always something to check when Advisor dies who replaced him. So yeah, it's just a matter of holding our country together for how long now? Need to wait for Westernization to finish. For another nine years. If we hold the country together for nine years, we're in a very good position. Yes, uh, we're in a very, very good position actually compared to where we started last week, because, or last time I started playing, because uh, Russia doesn't hate us. Right, uh, where are the next rebels going to spawn up? They will spawn in Ingle, Yedistan, and I was way ahead of myself. Let's just stick uh, one of our troops troops actually uh, there so we don't have to take the straight crossing. I think that's a straight crossing. It doesn't really say but it looks like it should be so we'll go with that. We're allowed to get another 300 military points although it looks like we're gaining zero points a month which might be right. Oh no we gain like four points a month. Probably two actually given that we're taking five away. Uh, more advisors died. Is that our military guy? Could be. Nope. Uh, we're looking for what was his title? Uh, army organizer. Okay, we got some rebels. They're not where it said the rebels were going to spawn, though. Oh, 30 legitimacy hit or lose westernization progress. How many months is. <sighs> I guess we'll take the legitimacy hit. Our. Air is still strong, right? Yeah. Oh, man has high liberty desire. Really? Why? Probably diplomatic reputation, to be honest. Oh, does legitimacy affect diplomatic reputation? Yes, it does. A very small amount. Okay. Um, They're not going to rebel, so that's fine. And we're not currently trying to annex anybody. So let's uh, put this army down here. Let me put a leader on it. And we'll go kill this army. That's, uh, a, I was just checking that was a valid army that we had up there. It wasn't just a whole bunch of cav. We'll send them down as well. Our royal marriage with Naj has ended. We'll get that back. Let's uh, stop improving relations with the Ottomans. And start improving relations with, or uh, getting the royal marriage with Naj. Of course, we get more nationalism. Separatism, sorry. Not nationalism anymore. 
Yes, perfect. I love that mechanic. It's so good. Royal marriage. Opinion improved. Eight years. That's all we gotta think. Eight years till all of this is over and we got westernized horde. Okay, it looks like a tough fight, but we're gonna win it up here. Are they coming to join in the fight? I didn't know they would do that. Oh no, they're just moving to the next province along. That's fine. <sighs> okay, fight up in Yedistan and... Let me guess, there's a river crossing here. River crossing between here and Yediskul. What about Ingle? None between Ingle, so we have to... I guess we might have to hire another leader, or even better, if we make our leader actually... Hmm. If we make our leader in charge of an army... There we go. If he dies, we get legitimacy back, so it's not bad if he dies. We do lose our stability, but still not awful if he dies. If he dies in battle, we do lose two stability though, so it's not worth raising stability if we're, we're going to use him. But it is worth using him. So you head through like that. Uh, I would very much like to get rid of that like general on that army and give it to a different army. That's fine. 27 versus 9, we should win. Separatism, 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 separatism. Border tensions. Uh, wait, why is it all grey? Let's just switch, switch the map mode and see if it fixes it. Yep. Okay. That's better. 1-1-1, one, one, one. we have a 1-2. There is no river. And we have more men. What's the terrain? Desert. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll send the 24 stack down to take the out the 11 stack. Send the 15 stack over here. No, I mean, if you want to come face me, that's absolutely fine. You can have the river crossing. Perfect. 14 stack, please chase. Oh, it's into the mountains. That's not good. But we'll chase just so that we don't lose their uh, separatism, hopefully. Should win out here because of superior army. So we just have more. That over there. Right. I think we're fine. Is that still... Yep, eight years. We won the 20 stack. We'll head up to... Uh, Cumis now, just in case that fight doesn't go in our favor, which it looks like it might not. So that's fine. Can't remove the leader from that army. Two more arm two more rebels pop up. Okay. Well you head all the way down from there. Where are you heading? Uh okay. Beat up the seven stack. Even though it's in mountains, we just have a much larger army. Right, you should have this army. We need to get rid of quite a few cav here. Uh, how many more? It's uh, about 2,000 more. There you go. It's now valid army, we'll move it to Masvidan. It's just a uh, whack-a-mole with rebels right now. Just consolidate all those regiments, just so that we can get a few less uh, cav around the place. Head into Zhilin. 13 stack, would very much like to give them the leader who is on that army, but I guess we can, we're going to have to give them the leader that's on our 10 stack. You head in and around. Okay. We're still alright. We're still alright. Ten noble regiments rise up in Golstan. Of course they do. Where is Golstan? Uh, Golstan. Oh, perfect. 
just exactly where we don't want you to rise up. Okay, seven stack, leave the ghost stan. We'll switch the armies around so that we actually got, we've got the army that can fight, fighting. You go and fight down there. What's his, that's a two star general. Five fire. Oh, wow. Uh, take the leader off that army. Put the leader on our 11 stack army. That'll work. Oh, you have no infantry left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop what you're doing. You head down. You head up. Um, okay, let's get all your cav. Merge. Just so it's not reinforcing the cav first. All your cav. Merge. Right. That should be fine. This army is A-OK -okay, though to fight. Noble Rebels. Done. Fighting a one shock versus our one two should be quite an easy fight. We do have lower ta- wait, why do we have lower tactics than the Noble Rebels? That doesn't make sense. Okay, fine. Done. Um, take the calf, merge them. We have 20 infantry, 200 over here, another 200 joining in. It might be worth hiring mercenaries right now. Right, let's get all of the calf here, merge them up. Uh, so, how many cav are we allowed to have? So, if we have 500 infantry, we're allowed to have them as... Uh, so, we're allowed to have about 2,000 cav. So, all the infantry, except for the empty armies. And then about 2,000 cav. Is this a valid army? Yup. Is only uh, 2,500 strong, however. Hmm. Okay. Let's just try moving the infantry away. Just merge them up. Just wanted, wanted to see how much, how the armies worked. Send them around there. Uh, we need to just get some very quick infantry built. Just because we have cavalry, we just can't do anything with them. Persia declared war on Humas again. Uh, I believe they lose it every time. Although they didn't have an army there this time, so Persia might actually get it and we can then get that land from Persia. If we ever leave this uh, hell called westernization. Uh, France are eating everything, as they should. Okay. Infantry are merged up. Uh, let's take away all the zero stacks. Uh, I see, let's just leave it just as mercenaries. How many cav can we have? If we have 4,000, that would allow us to have 16,000 cav? I understand that correctly. Did I math completely wrong again? Nope. We can now put a leader on here. Uh, I guess we'll put our 1 2 on. In you go. Your best hope. We're going to get destroyed in the fire phase. But in the shock phase, we're going to destroy. Okay. We might be fine. No rebels popping up. You know what? Um, we're going to harsh treatment these guys. Just, it's not a great move, but it does give us just a little bit of time to think. Okay, 
Right. We're going to get rid of all of our mercenaries here that we've just got because we don't need them. Don't need them to de-siege. They're just costing money. You head up to Yetistan. You head down here. Uh, split in half, head down here. Let's do something like that. Armies aren't in any particular order, they're just sieging as quick as possible. I forgot to leave an army to siege the original place. That was your job. Okay. Kiva still want to be our uh, vassals? Yes, yes they do. So, we, we've still got that on the cards. If we can make them our vassal, they, we can use their 8 stack of army to start getting rid of uh, some of this. Okay. 3 stack, head down here. Is that the quickest route? Okay. Don't say target practice. Okay, Kef. Where's Kef? Kef is here. Do you have an, any infantry at all? No. Right. Three, four. You want you to just go to Kef? Head down there. Right. Should be roughly okay. Target practice. We're at war? Um, sure. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. I suppose if we had some war exhaustion, that would get rid of it. Which should lower national unrest ever so slightly. Could raise stability. Uh, what's the thing for breaking internal conflicts? Fewer rebel control problems is than one. Can't do that. Rebel unrest lower than one. Can't do that. Stability at least two. Can't do that. Okay, it's just going to keep going. Uh, how many years? Six years now. Right. You, go deal with that. I'm not going to despawn... I suppose I should despawn the, uh, the uh, mercs, because they are costing us money each month. Hopefully I won't need to respawn them straight away. You can head down here, and then we can try and work out just how to get our armies back together. Uh, that's all all the calves together there. I'm just trying to see if there are any armies that have like weakened cavalry. This one. Consolidate. Don't need that many cav. Austria are ceding stuff to Brandenburg as well. Austria are getting beaten up. Okay. We know you have higher liberty, Tsar. It doesn't really affect us. Another 30 legitimacy. And Westlies, we have to take it. Our hope is that Westernization ends at some point. Right, uh, head to the coast, head to the coast. Do we have fewer rebel, rebel, rebel controlled colony, uh, like provinces than one? No, we still have one controlled. It's just a shame you need all three things. Although I suppose it'd be easy otherwise. Don't suppose Russia became friendly? Nope. Okay. Uh. Right. Kiva's almost there. How much can we improve it by? By yeah, we'll get them at some point. Timurids will siege seed land to Baluchistan. Hejaz declared war on Kaffa. Yarkand will seed a whole bunch of land. Okay. Fewer rebel controlled provinces than one. 
Now what we need to do is get unrest lower than uh, one and stability at least two. Where's our where's our problem? Okay, to the coast. Uh, here's a question. Would it be better to merge together our infantry? Mm, probably not. It's probably it's not cheaper to merge together. It's like, would it be cheaper to merge? Would it be better to merge them together so that we're getting like one set of strong infantry? But it's not going to be. Um, right. We'll move this army in here. Merge them up. Take all of our infantry. You are one army. And then we'll take away anything that has zero to army two. So you're our effective army of about 3,000 infantry. For th every 3,000 infantry, we can have um, 12,000 cavalry. So we'll take, let's say take 10,000 here. I mean, I suppose we should take the artillery in our main army as well. Right? Yeah. Timurids will cede a lot of land and give it to them. Fine. You head over to reject army land. Then we'll go figure out where we need to go next. You are our effective fighting force. I guess you're heading up to Ryzan, because that's the one that I said was going to rise up next. You should have the maneuver guy on. Right. I'm gonna end I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we'll continue trying to hold our country together. See you then. Goodbye.